Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a good day. Today was another green day on the market, which was exciting. The market responded well to the possibility of a Democrat House of Representatives and a Republican Senate. So today I was still so much cash and so I didn't really capitalize on a lot of the gains that happened today. If you were following the top seven and others, then you would have had a 0.59% loss today. A month to date, that would put you at a 2.75% gain. Year to date, I'm at a 599% return, so I'm doing very well. Okay, so let's cover these day trades because I had some really good ones today. And day trading, I day traded Sava, Casavia Sciences, S. AVA, also KNDI. Both of these had great news today. And then CHFS and BIIB. Overall, I only did about a 4% gain. I had real small amounts. I guess I was just a little skittish and didn't really get in big on these different stocks, which I probably should have. But I still feel pretty good and it's always good to have a green day, definitely. I like to use Weeble for my intraday trading. The reason I do is I love the scanners that are on there. And if you are looking for a powerful broker, I highly recommend that you check them out. We have a link in the description down below. You get one free stock when you sign up and two free stocks when you deposit money right now. So that's a pretty good deal. I have some sales to report from yesterday's list. The first I sold was RTX, sold for a 7.6% gain. Everyone in our group, anyone that joined me at the same time had just about the same kind of gain. And then sold IBM for a 5.2% gain and then sold INOV for a 1.2% gain. So overall pretty good. That was three insiders that had a good result and so I love to see that and if you're looking for a powerful group I highly recommend you check it out we have a link in the description down below you can get in on the entry points that I suggest and also I give my analysis immediately once it happens and I give a lot of stock picks throughout the day so let's get to the top seven and others because we just have so much to cover I want you to know that I have increased my positions a little bit right now I'm 40% stock and 60% cash we still don't have a president and we still don't have a clear win Winner where the other side is conceded. And so I'm still being kind of cautious just in case, but the market's been doing really great. And so I think as this continues, if this was to continue, I would get more bullish definitely on the market. So we're getting there. So we have the top seven plus two. Okay, let's start with the first one. It's OPK. Today, Wednesday, it finished up 5.90%. My average is $3.56. And if you got in on this at the time when I recommended it in the list in our Discord group, you would be up 5.30. This is, of course, Opco Health and Frost Investments, 10% owner, has been buying up shares in open market, and so it's very bullish activity. And analysts have an average target price on this at $8 a share. So there's over 100%. They believe there's over 100% upside in this stock, and so that's pretty great. I mean, I'd love to make 100% on it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the next is Sprout Farmer SFM. On Wednesday, it finished up 0.05%. My average in it's $18.84, and since I called this one out in the discord it is up 5.15 percent this is a buyout candidate and also two directors bought shares in open market analysts have an average target on this stock at 25 dollars and six cents so that's very very good all right now for the top seven number seven is taco and this is del taco on wednesday it finished up 0.63 percent my average and it's seven dollars and 56 cents since i called this out this is up 6.08 percent over the last couple of days and Ari levy has been buying up shares in open market market and analysts have an average target price on this at $11.75. We've been going into this stock and then selling it and going into it and making anywhere between 5 and 15% every time we've been in it. So this has been a great pick and I expect it to continue to do well. Number six, and this is Renaissance. And this did not have a good day today. This is RNST on Wednesday. It finished down 6.28%, which was highly, I don't know, I just didn't expect that, but it is an insurance company and maybe investors have gotten a little skittish on it. My average in it's $29.74. Since I called this one out, this one has not been good. You know, I'll say it whether it's good or whether it's bad. And since I called this out in the Discord, this one's down 6.24%. So that's not very good, but it can turn around. We can have a great day tomorrow and this could turn around definitely. This is a CFO purchase and that's definitely my favorite. I pay attention when CFOs load up. It was over $800,000, so I paid very close attention. Analysts have an average target price on this at $28.71. All right, number five is PSTI and this is 
Plural Stem Therapeutics, and this one's doing really well for us. On Wednesday, it finished up 3.81%. My average chin is $9.57, and since I called it out, it's only up 2.34%. There's a little explaining that needs to happen. It's actually up further than that, but what happened was I put some money in it, and then it was about 4% up, and then today I really loaded up on it, and so it really changed my average and messed with all of my percentages, but Cloverwolf Capital is really loading up shares on this. And in after hours on Wednesday, this really performed well. Analysts have an average target on this of $16.10. There's tons of upside in this, and so I'm expecting great things. Plural Stem has been great for us in the past, and it continues to be great going forward. This would be a good one to get into. Here's another one that had a rough day. This goes to show that insiders don't know everything about their company. So uh, this is number four, and this is Covenant Transport, CVLG. And on Wednesday, this finished down 6.83%. And the reason I like it is because the CFO, Jacqueline Parker, and the co President all bought shares in open market. My average in at $16.71. And since I called this out, this is down 8.21%, which is not great. Oil prices got a boost today, and this really kind of hurt this company. Also, this company was way up the day before, and so it's normal for a stock that's more than 10% up to be half percent down the next day. All right, number three is Bed Bath & Beyond. So number three is BBBY. On Wednesday, this finished up 1.69%. This is brand new to list. My average in it is $20.85, and since I called it out, it is up 1.38%, but I like it because Harriet Edelman, director, is buying up shares, and analysts have an average target on the stock at $24.25. Number two is APRN. This is Blue Apron, and today this finished up on Wednesday, 13.88%, and there was a lot of people in the Discord who got in on this right when I called it out, and a lot of us are sitting way up in it. My average is $5.02. So far since calling it out, I'm up 4.78%, and DPH Hold has been loading up shares and so very good and analysts have an average target of $24.21. Number one is MTEM. My average in it's $10.43. And B Flat Biotech has been buying up shares and analysts have an average target of $23.14. I do a lot of work for this list, so if you could please do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I hope all of you have a great day tomorrow and Raytoven out.